Okay, here are the five grape solar panels. You can see uh, we're, it's about 1 o'clock p.m. out right now, so we're at full solar. Um, and if we go behind uh, my grape solar panels, uh, we have the mounting from Northern Tools and kind of a unistrut bar uh, going across. You can see that. Okay, and here are the Sun brand panels uh, from Sun Electronics uh, that were bought in Miami uh, several years ago. Um, we also have uh, five panels here. Okay, and you can notice the uh, Unistrut mounts here. Okay, and these are uh, definitely adjustable. Okay. All right, so we're full Sun uh, systems on solar power. Um, wind turbine is not spinning. We're kind of dead, no wind, zero wind right now. But I'm going to go inside now. Okay, inside our little shit here. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is the system. Um, we have our batteries right here, our battery bank here, okay? And then the rest of the system here. And I'm gonna explain uh, very slowly, and I apologize about my previous videos uh, going really fast, but I'm gonna explain. Okay, so the first thing um, is I'm gonna talk about the wind turbine. Um, this is the um, wind turbine, and again, the wind turbine is uh, alternating current, so that's why we have we have two coming in uh, from the wind turbine. Um, this is a panel that came uh, with it. Uh, we have you can basically it's on free right now, so it can free spin. I can break the wind turbine, uh, turn the wind turbine off. So it's basically the three phase turbine disconnect. You can actually see it right here. Three phase turbine disconnect. Okay. All right, um, and this is just coming in. These are the uh, bridge rectifiers, um, and what bridge rectifiers do is it converts the alternating current from the turbine into direct current. Okay, and that's what this does. Um, so again, goes to here the bridge rectifiers. Okay, and then it goes to a, an emergency shutoff switch here. Okay, Ooh, there we go. I'm going to shut that. There we go. Okay, then it goes. And you can see my wind turbine is not producing anything because we have zero wind right now, so nothing coming from this system. Okay, now what this is right here um, is this is always on, and this is part of the wind turbine. All wind turbines have this. And basically if the wind turbine produces more voltage than needed, um, we have to dissipate that extra energy as heat. That rarely, rarely happens, especially here in Florida. Um, typically in windy areas that can definitely happen. Um, but basically what happens is if, say, the wind turbine was suddenly producing 15 volts or DC or some, some high voltage that we can't use for our system, what this circuit does is it dissipates that extra energy in these gigantic resistors. You see these brown resistors? They're cold right now because there's no energy going through them. But what happens is the wind turbine circuit will automatically dissipate any extra energy as heat so you don't blow your system, blow a fuse, things like that. And that's what this part does. So you definitely have to have that for your wind turbine. It came with the wind turbine. Okay. So again, we're going to follow the blue here. Okay. So it goes up. Okay. And it goes into the main uh, um, voltage and ammeter. Okay. So this is the voltage of the system. I'm on solar right now, 13.18 volts, and my the system here is based on 12 volts. So basically, this is 13. So we're doing really, really well. System's fully charged. Um, usually, 13.5, 13.5 volts is fully charged. 12.5 uh, to 12.7 is fully discharged. Um, we're pulling 44 amps on average. I've seen it as high as 55 amps. Um, so we're, we're actually doing really well from our system because it's bright and sunny right now. Um, and actually, we're, I see the sun is going behind a cloud, so it's going to probably dip um, a little bit right now. Okay. Um, this right here. Um, so, so, sorry, before I start that, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Okay. Um, this, is, by the way, is my battery tester from Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, it works. It's basically a battery tester. You can clamp it. It'll tell you if your battery is good or not. That's what that is. Um, it's pretty hot out right now. This is the outside temperature, 94.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty hot right now. Um, all right, so this is part of our circuit, our um, DC circuit. So you have a positive, negative. Um, and basically, this is an emergency shutoff switch. That's what this red is. And I can turn the whole system off. 
uh, so it doesn't charge the batteries. Um, I can go to, to um, uh, off there. Um, and again, the uh, solar panels um, from outside are going, going through this this right here. So this is a combination of wind and the two strings, actually three strings of solar from my sun solar panels, um, grape solar, um, it all comes to that. And again, that circuit goes down to batteries. Um, you see the red wire right here, that's going to my uh, inverter, okay? Um, so it's pulling energy from the batteries, converting it into 120 volt AC, which is here, and it just completes the circuit through my charge controllers, which I'll review here, but you can see it's just one complete circuit, okay? And now we're going to move on to the two charge controllers. Uh, the TriStar was the first one that we had, okay? But because we outgrew it, it's currently being bypassed, so it's actually on night mode right now. It's, uh, it's just on standby, so it's actually going straight through. Um, this basically just had a 50 amp, um, when the system was really, really small, bought this uh, Morningstar uh, TriStar controller. Um, so it's just currently on night mode. It's not. It's not doing anything. It is reading the voltage going through it, which is good. So it's telling me 13.1 volts, 13.13. This is a little bit better because it tells me um, an extra digit. So the TriStar is being pretty much bypassed, but it, it is still going through it and reading it. It's just not doing anything um, because it was small. It's a maximum 50 amps, and as you can see, we're at 43.3. It's just because we built up the system, added another string of solar. So that's done. So what we did is we upgraded to the Midnight Solar Classic unit right here, okay? And I'm going to zoom in. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's basically reading from my solar panels. This is from the solar, okay? 79 volts, and again, I have a 12-volt battery system, okay? So... Um, basically, uh, it's just taking the strings um, and converting it, so it's 79 volts in, okay, and you can read the battery, 13.3 volts, 41.3 amps, so pretty good, um, kilowatt hours, 3.2 today, it's generating about 550 watts right now, okay, and MPPT is a, a multi-power point tracking, which is a good way to uh, use the power from the solar panels, okay. Um, and again, Midnight Solar, nice, sleek, futuristic looking black unit. Highly recommend Midnight Solar. Uh, take a look at it. And before it goes into the, uh, before it goes into, because it's actually, if you think about it, it's, the electricity is moving um, basically this way, okay? Um, we have this, which is the Midnight Solar Photovoltaic Combiner Box. Okay, and these are the three strings, okay? So right now we actually have um, the wind turbines turned off, but we have the uh, B, uh, um, I'm sorry, the BP is currently turned off, working on it. We have the sun solar panels and then the grape solar panels. So those are currently on right now in combiner box. Um, we have a nice fuse here, okay, and that's, uh, that's rated, um, what is it rated here? It is a... Um, I'll have to tell you what the surge protector rating is on that. Um, okay, so again, uh, solar panels coming in. Um, this is the inverter cutoff, because this is the inverter right here. Uh, Ames power, DC to AC power inverter. Uh, this unit right here just tells me I always am producing. Um, I just I, I have a current going, a complete circuit, so that just lights up. Um, this is the current cost right now. This is a uh, this is a unit I bought. It's kind of like a TED controller. You can Google that. And what this does is it, I have a unit in the house that basically uses wireless right here. Okay, this is what this Linksys unit is, and that tells me. Um, basically how many uh, um, volts current that that sort of thing it just it's, it's basically reading what's coming off from the inverter and uh, again I can shut off the inverter anytime um, and the eight or the uh, the um, inverters pulling from here so again battery banks and everything is in uh, in parallel it's all 12 volts so all the batteries are 12 volts okay and uh, I know some of you have asked me to kind of zoom in here so I'll uh, zoom in here this is a uh, Batteries plus X2 power, okay? All right, and then our other batteries, which we had a better deal on, so let me move backwards here. This is a Duracell, okay? And then I'll move, okay? So it's a 31 AGM Duracell, pretty hefty battery. Let's go back to the X2 power, because I didn't do that. Um, S, uh, SL uh, I31 AGM, so that's the... Uh, and that's from Batteries Plus. They're actually both from Batteries Plus. 
Okay, so that's the uh, inverter out. Um, and then the 120 volt uh, AC um, coming off, okay, um, is basically, we go across here, um, this is our main panel, okay, and we have some, some of the outlets, and this is for the water pump, uh, water softener unit. Um, this is main panel, so we actually also have a gas generator hooked up to this. Um, and then the way we convert from solar to electric is here. So we have to manually do it for now. This is the outside panel switch, okay, so it's coming in, coming into here. Um, we can switch from solar panels to grid electric. Um, and we switch to solar panels again when it's around 13.5 volts. Um, the battery system is charged, so we're off grid here. And then when the when the, uh, when we start noticing the water so or the water pump, we're not getting water in the house or whatnot. Or I look at my current the current cost system, and it tells me I'll sw I'll come out here and switch to electric. Okay, and here's a little chart. Um, and again, this is uh, this is if we're grid. Um, grid and battery so right now we're uh, we're at 120 volts and always read 120 volts for the for the grid or or the battery system outputting at 120 volts um, and right now we're using about yeah, five five amps so there's there's some load inside the, the house out on the, on the property and just a little chart um, volts AC volt DC just kind of a little chart here so yeah, and and then again, uh, I have another outside panel um, uh, right there that's just uh, uh, we can control um, you know some of the outside lights and things like that. So again, uh, just coming out to the system. Uh, there we go.